Hello, Hello. Sharon. How are you? <laughs> Hi, how are you? Oh, I'm very good, thank you. <laughs> how are you? Fine, and you, I was uh, the, in, you know, that I was waiting for you in the other line because, you know, that there's my uh, follower, they uh, were over there in yeah, the yeah. other, uh, in this, my uh, room, but it's okay, we can continue it in here. Right, okay. And just, nice I want to, <laughs> nice to see you, Sharon, is it for the line time, I think that is the one year. You know, yes, I think so. This Turkish, uh, Turkey, the Team Masters Cup, we didn't see yes. anyone. Yes, it has been a long time. Yeah, uh, okay. Uh, uh, we are in here and uh, I want you, first of all, uh, I want you to introduce yourself because the, we record this video for the Iranian. And also, mm -hmm. I want to do uh, do, uh, do me a favor, which I want, when we finish this uh, conversation, please save this video, because you can save this video and send it back to me, because we have to uh, share it in this other Iranian uh, social media. Mm -hmm. Okay, and no then problem. Send it back to me. All right, yeah. thank you so much. So, okay, uh, just... Uh, Introduce yourself, because the, the most Iranian people, especially Iranian key person, they would love to know more about you, <laughs> and also that uh, about your experience in tea businesses, education, and also that training course, because it's very famous for the most of them. And they people, I think that they follow you on an Instagram, and uh, maybe they are interested to know um, know you uh, more about you. Oh, that's very okay. nice. Thank you. Um, yeah. Okay. So my name is Sharon Johnston. I'm um, the founder of Australian Team Masters. We started about uh, eight years ago uh, when I realised that people didn't know a lot about uh, really about tea. I, I was uh, prior to that corporate in had a corporate career so I worked all over the world and I realized by traveling and tasting teas that we really didn't know much because Australian actually do we drink a lot of black tea here just um, breakfast tea with milk so uh, when I realized and started to try the different teas in the countries I thought it's um, it was amazing how many teas there were that we didn't even know existed so I set out about to try and learn about tea and uh, I couldn't find any good courses to teach me about tea. Each country, uh, the people knew a lot about their own tea, but they didn't know a lot about other countries' teas. So uh, because one of my positions was a group training manager of 24 countries, I set about thinking, well, if I can do that, then I must be able to build a program yeah. on tea. So I travelled around the world and uh, learnt a lot about tea, built a training program. So now we teach tea mastery, uh, we teach tea blending, tea sommelier. Uh, we have a tea one-on-one -on -one online course um, and we're currently building some new programs as well. So, yeah, and I'm head uh, judge for Tea Masters Cup, which is very exciting for me. So um, to have been nominated. Uh, we've written a tea book, tea sommelier book, um, which we got. No, I got last year nominated one of the best tea educators in the world. So I'm very pr uh, proud, <laughs> and that's my book. Yeah, <laughs> Thank yeah. You for a bit of marketing this is the book there. that I got is from the show. <laughs> yes, which we've sold out of all the copies, and we're just doing a new one. And I'm in the process of uh, finishing off my blending book, which will be probably ready in about two months. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we have a very busy career and I travel all over the world. I'm very lucky, um, hence how I've met you. Um, you know, I've yep. spent last year, half of my year traveling all over the world and meeting oh. a lot of farmers. I really the like to work line. hard to promote each different country's farms. Mm -hmm. And also that, uh, do you have any experience about this Iranian tea and you use Iranian tea and also that, uh, what's your suggestion, what do you think about Iranian tea industry in the world and where we are standing in the world? Uh, your tea from you actually, Hassan. If I had yes. not had the experience before of you giving me some Iranian tea. And uh, mm -hmm. the, um, so when I, I, I mean, I, I thought where you sit is probably 
somewhere in the middle with the, what I've tried, you know, in the middle of the, the T um, range. And obviously it's quite strong, you know, but that's, you know, the style of drinking. Um, and you were, I was lucky enough to get some Iranian tea treats, which really topped off my experience of Iranian tea. And I actually do share that in my tea mastery classes because it was really, I, until I met you, I didn't know a lot about Iranian tea. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I think you have a, a lot of opportunity for blending with Iranian teas. Yes. I think there's a big opportunity there because I think some of the botanicals would blend really nicely with the Iranian tea. And that's an area I, I can see a lot of growth potential. Mm -hmm. And also that you think that if we can the blending Iranian tea, because we have, when we sort in grading the black tea, we can get like around this between 15 up to 17 kind of the tea, like loose leaf, leaf, yeah. the, I mean that the broken uh, dust and the many kind of the tea. You think that there is a good opportunity for Iranian tea, which we can uh, blending for that, right? Yes, and I think the thing is that if you are going to use, I mean, in, in all the, when we blend, we don't ever use our best teas. So mm -hmm. the grading, um, we usually use mid to lower grade. I mean, a lot of what you see in tea bags, especially opaque tea bags, where the tea bag is not clear, then this is the, the lower quality end of the tea. But we actually have two bagging machines and we bag um, a lot of our blends up and we use pyramid bags and we use mm -hmm. clear bags. So people can see what's in them. And then we, it's good to use a medium uh, orthodox type of leaf and blend yes. it with flowers and herbs because that this mm -hmm. is what gives the visual appeal. Yeah. And also that as long as that in Iran we have different kind of the herbs because uh, we are famous in these regards too. Yeah. And we normally export a lot of those herbs to the outside of Iran to the other countries which they interested ever about the Iranian tea which maybe yeah. more than we have more than 200 herbs yeah and this is something that's really interesting that I think um, I've worked with a few of the different countries to use their locally grown ingredients and to give you something that's unique you know but that what you're growing your because a lot of places have to import like Australia doesn't grow in many herbs and flowers at all so we have to import mm -hmm. everything and uh, I think you know when you're using Iranian teas you should try to use as much of your Iranian ingredients as you can oh that's good perfect which is a way you can do it um, the other question which I have it and uh, what is the aim of the Tea Masters Cup in the, around the world? And as long as just we know in this, uh, you know, that in the past eight years, we had uh, just uh, many, you know, the, the competition in the tea preparation, tea pairing, tea mixology, and the tea tasting. Do you think that if the Tea Masters Cup looking for the more aims for the tea in the world, in the, the country that produce tea and uh, they have tea? I think that, yes, one of the aims of Tea Masters Cup is to promote the culture, not, not just the tea quality, the presentation, but the, the unique things that you can do with tea, which is what we see in Tea Masters Cup, and also the culture, the tea that the country grows. It gives them a chance to take their tea to another country and you know, show show off in in amongst all the other tea master tea masters that are actually presenting. So you know, there's a great opportunity to mix the cultures, and um, it, it's a great opportunity to showcase your teas. And especially when you have something unique in your country, some ingredients, I think this is a good opportunity to show what can be done with Iranian tea. Yeah, that's good. I mean, that you think that if you one day you come to the Iran. You can have a good class in the, for the blending for this, uh, you know, the courses about Iranian tea. Yes, I think so. We can create an Iranian breakfast. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Because you know that the most for the Iranian tea, we normally use, you know, a lot uh, for the breakfast. Yeah. If in, uh, in all in Iranian breakfast, you will see that the tea has the main rule. 
and also that they use a lot, especially after lunch, before, you know, in the evening, which they uh, sit together and the gathering, talking and drinking tea with the Iranian yeah. sweets, Iranian cake, blah, 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 which is, <laughs> there is the longest story tea in Iran, but as long as he is not a very old in Iran, maybe it's going to be like, uh, uh, let's say, uh, 400 years ago, which yeah. imported tea from the China to the Iran by some merchandise, and then uh, the, the Kasha for Sultan, uh, who bring, uh, he brought tea in Iran, is around this 120 years or 103 years ago. He was the consulate of Iran in the India, and he brought a lot of the tea uh, plants to the Iran, and they called, uh, you know, that. Uh, make it in this uh, Lahijan in the north of Iran. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, Iran has a, this opportunity that we can have a good class with you, especially after this uh, COVID-19, which we are yes. hoping is gonna be finished soon because yes. everybody is not satisfied with that. And uh, we hope so too. Yeah, and uh, we are planning to do something because uh, we believe that the Iran tea has a good culture and a good quality, which we can promote it to the other country. Because one of the most users of Iranian tea is a Russia. All yes. the time they're looking for the Iranian tea. And also that all this, you know, that the judges, when they were in Iran for the Iran Tea Masters Cup, uh, mm -hmm. They believe it that it has a good eye, you know, that the quality, but it's depending on how to proceed for a tea. You have to lose leaf, you have the other, you know, that industry or made it by hand, Iranian. Yeah, so, yeah. It, it, certainly in, um, improving by having the different grades is very important so that you have a high quality tea, even if it's only in smaller amounts and you can command a higher price. And then you can yes. work down. You Everyone has a poor grade. You know, it doesn't matter which uh, country we're in. Everyone has a poor grade tea. But, you know, you yeah. can, it, it's what is important is not just to mass produce all the time. It's to make, you yeah. know, smaller batches of higher grade tea using orthodox methods to command, to, get, to bring out those honey notes and the malty notes that you get from, you know, hand processing or small batch processing. So I, I think that you have a very good opportunity. And, you know, not just that, you have beautiful teaware. You know, teaware is uh, the, the, the clothes, the teaware, the whole thing is very important with Tea Masters Cup to showcase mm -hmm. what is available in Iran. Yeah, and also that you believe that in Iran, if we, you know, that I remember in the past in Iran, we produced tea by hand, which was the had a good quality, but this, these days that we produce it, as you said, by the orthodox method with this, you know, that uh, plus, I mean, that withering and rolling, blah, 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 blah. And I remember that mostly they, they make the tea by hand, which it, it had a good uh, quality. And the, right now, some small quantity, also they make it by hand. If you think that if we're going back to this, uh, I mean, that uh, we make a tea by hand, the quality and the price can be raised and this, uh, you know, the culture and the farmer, they have a good benefit of it, right? Yes, exactly. Yeah, very That's true. What they, in the China, they do it all the time for the poor tea or the other specialty, which I saw that, uh, I remember in the Mingai last year, all of them, they do it by hand, which is the price is so high and also they have a very good uh, benefits. Mm -hmm. uh, so, and um, what do you think that about the future of the Team Masters Cup and also that when you think that we can have this competition because everybody in these days asks me that, oh, when will it happen? And I told them I will ask from the Shari because the Shari is one of the most person that who can decide about this. As no, I'm not the one. Unfortunately, <laughs> COVID is the one that's deciding about this. Uh, yeah, so, and also so the Ramaz is... Yes, Ramaz, everybody wants to have the Team Masters Cup World Championship, but, you know, mm. we can't do anything until... Uh, I mean, for example, in Australia, we can't travel anywhere. We are totally locked into our country. Oh, my so, God. Uh, 
Yeah, so we are not allowed to go anywhere. So, you know, and this is the same with uh, quite a few countries. I, I, I see UK is opening up at 14 days I, um, in isolation. But this yeah. is slowly but surely. But I really cannot see us having Team Masters Cup champion, World Championship until early next year. Yeah, yeah. Because I heard from this, some people, they, they, the Romans told me that maybe that in their... Maybe in uh, November or December, but I'm not pretty sure by this system. Yeah, I don't happen. think so. I don't think so. The way we're going, I wouldn't hold any hope up until early next year. <laughs> as much as I also would love to go to the World Championship, I think. Yeah, so. sure. Everybody loves because I ask from the many people and they will ask. They are so interested to travel to everywhere. And the people, they see each other, the new friends, the new team masters club and they uh, exchange their knowledge together and they see different kind of the experience the people they have in the team. And for the last question, uh, do you think that the Iranian team masters competition can have a good place in the world? Yes, I do. I watched uh, some of the clips and uh, yeah. the presentations were beautiful. I mean, you should be very proud of uh, the people, of what they've put together for Team Masters Cup. And uh, they have as good an opportunity, I mean, as anyone, and especially because you're so new. So um, they should be very proud of what they, they uh, the people that entered the Team Masters Cup competition. Mm -hmm. Okay, and for the last question, what is your message for the Iranian team? <laughs> Drink tea. Look after your own tea. Grow beautiful tea and use all your beautiful flowers and herbs that you have there and uh, make something different, something different that the world wants to see come from Iran. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Shari. It was a nice talking to you. Uh, I know that you're so busy and I don't like to take your time. No, and, uh, it, it, it's my pleasure and uh, lots of love to all the Iranian people. And, thank uh, you so much. Yeah. And the same right. to you and this, all these uh, people, they live in Australia. And I hope that everyone in this Australia, they will stay safe from the COVID-19 and the one day... The, the border, you know, that will be open very soon. And the people, they will see each other and the travel and be enjoy and happy together and have a great yeah. time together. I think the world needs a lot of peace and love right now. So Yeah, sure. Definitely. Definitely. All uh, right. One more. And I want, uh, when we finish, just uh, record this video and send it back to me. And, sure. Uh, and the one lady says that this cannot wait to visit Iran. You are most welcome to the Iran. I think that this is a one of your followers. Uh, <laughs> you can come to the Iran anyway, anytime after this COVID-19. Thank uh, you. You are welcome, everyone, everyone, everybody is welcome to the Iran. Thank you very much and bye, everyone. You're welcome. Have a good morning. Bye-bye. Have a lovely day, everyone. Bye from Australia. You too. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.